Hey guys, Graver here. What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Marvel Contest of Champions and the How to Beat series. Now, I've, I've heard a couple of you guys say that you have still a little bit of difficulty fighting with Juggernaut or fighting against him, rather. Now, what exactly makes Juggernaut so hard to fight? More than anything, it's the unstoppable. I mean, going up against this guy without his signature ability awakened then he's not going to be too difficult of a challenge to go up against. Mine is currently rank 4, level 40 of 40. Still pretty beastly though. Uh, and the higher his signature ability goes, the better he is. Because Juggernaut becomes unstoppable for 2.9 seconds, shrugging off enemy attacks. Once Juggernaut starts moving, nothing can stop him. So that's, that's the key thing, is unstoppable. Just getting around that unstoppable. You can deal with everything else in here. Uh, his passive, the new passive, Sidorak's favor. Sidorak grants Juggernaut 20% increased armor. Additionally, at the beginning of the fight, he becomes unstoppable and shrugs off all attacks for 2.9 seconds. So it's it's not that difficult. He does have increased armor, which makes him a little bit harder to fight. But it really doesn't matter who you go up against Juggernaut with. And you can see from the footage that we got playing that uh, really the biggest thing is you just want to keep close quarters with Juggernaut usually no more than a swipe back away from him so if you're you're just a swipe back away he's more prone to rush in which allows you the opportunity to be able to uh, parry and stun him and that's the key thing whenever he's in unstoppable mode you definitely want to parry and stun so if you keep close quarters he's more prone to do that and I, I don't mean you have to stay right on top of the guy like I said just one swipe back and you're pretty good and you don't really have to worry about too much sometimes it doesn't work a lot of times it does though the closer the proximity you are to juggernaut the more likely he's going to try to rush in and get you he's not the type of character that's going to rush in to try and take you out whenever you're two or three swipes away on the other side of the screen and you really don't have to worry about his special attacks being too devastating when you're that close because you can easily easily swipe out of him his special one, it only goes so far. His special two, he does jump and move in towards you a little bit, but it's very predictable in the manner that it happens so that you can kind of evade out of it. So you don't have to worry about that. But you really just want to bait, especially if they have Mystic Dispersion on. Mystic Dispersion can uh, really, really help Juggernaut out. And a lot of character, a lot of uh, champions that are or summoners whatever you want to call them people playing the game that are doing these guys in uh, alliance wars on defense a lot of people are going to have mystic dispersion so you have to be careful and you have to watch how you play around with juggernaut too so that he doesn't build up all the way to a special three because that's that's like the worst case scenario you do not want a level three you can deal with a level one and a level two attack and then you can deal with the unstoppable pretty easily just like I said just by keeping those close quarters and parry and stun that's usually going to take you about two parry stuns to be able to get away from the unstoppable depending on how how high their signature ability level is like I said mine's at 80 and he's got a 2.9 second uh, unstoppable which is a pretty decent amount of time for him to go in unstoppable mode because that's pretty much waylay mode you can he can just do whatever he wants to to you so you have to keep those close proximities enough for him to rush in so that you can parry and stun. You just you want to be able to do it as quickly as possible. You got to be really quick on your, your fingers to be able to get the block off just in time to stun him as he's coming in. And even if you do get caught by him with uh, a block instead of stunning him, it's not going to do too much damage. He, he doesn't have exactly the, the highest damage output in the game. But the further up he goes as a rank 5 or as a rank 4, which there are a ton of people out there that have this guy awakened as a 5 star up to rank 4 just for Alliance Wars purposes, that attack is definitely going to go up a lot more. So if you're not taking in characters that have pretty good block proficiency on the, uh, the averages it is anyway, it's going to make things a little bit more difficult on you as well. But really, that's the key things that you have to really look at with Juggernaut is keep close proximity, no more than one swipe away, parry stun every single chance you get in the game, 
<laughs> with him when he's unstoppable attack as much as you possibly can whenever he's not unstoppable and for the love of god never never try to attack while he's unstoppable that is the worst case um, mistake that anybody playing this game could possibly do and i've i've done it myself before so it is something that you just you have to really pay attention to that unstoppable meter uh, like i said i have fallen into that before and it's just not a, it's not a good place to be in you can't start the fight attacking. I know some people like to start the fight in attack mode, but you really have to start the fight either in a swipe back position or try to get that initial parry stun off from the uh, onslaught that he will bring in his first move set. Because you got to think he's going to have an unstoppable right when the match starts. But hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit more on understanding how to fight with Juggernaut. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like on it. If you're new to the channel, please consider leaving a sub on it. And as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next episode. Later. Later.